I'm joined in the studio now by TRT World's editor at large, Ahmed Al Burai. Thanks so much for coming in, Ahmed. Tell me, in the wider scheme, where does this now leave the opposition and these rebel groups? Are they losing? Militarily, yes, they're losing the three pockets they have, whether in Douma, in Tarma, Harasta, all the pockets inside East Inguta. Recently on Sunday, Bashar al-Assad, the uh, Syrian president, visited without an escort, without any bodyguards, and as if he is the real uh, president, he sends clear messages to the people of Damascus that I'm still the protector, I'm still the president, and to the East Inguta people that you can just leave, evacuate, and move to Damascus, then you will be safe. So militarily, yes, the rebel groups are losing. They evacuated, they agreed to evacuate mainly Ahrar al-Sham and moving to Idlib, which is the other big problem because it seems that everybody is moving to Idlib. Then Assad and the Russians are going to go ahead and attack Idlib because of the same pretext, which is rebel groups or terrorists are inside the enclave and they want to clear it. It was amazing seeing actually that video of Bashar al-Assad driving a civilian car. He was at the wheel looking at Eastern Quta, extremely comfortable. I mean, do you think now that this evacuation will actually go smoothly? And then where does the regime actually go next? Will it come to the point where Assad can say that he again controls Syria? He can say that, but the problem is, again, the people on the ground. They, if you look at social media, they do have a kind of tendency. A very recent one, Andrea, would you feel the supporters of Assad state that the Assad, Bashar al-Assad, is not the representative of the country, of the state? While, on the other hand, you have the uh, opposition or the people on the ground, they say the opposition, the rebel groups, are not the representative of the people, of the nation. So you would have this kind of change in terms of the paradigms, the mm -hmm. stereotypes they have that Assad should stay. This can change, but with the hands of the people, because those who took to the street in 2011 are still there. Those who lost more than half a million people, they're still there. Assad cannot be the legitimate representative for them because of the sacrifice. It didn't deserve all of this. On the other hand, you have rebel groups who are, who are fighting with each other, who, are not, who could not even agree on any kind of manifesto for an alternative to Assad. So people could give them the trust and they say, yeah, Assad should go in a political transition. But we do have, so the international, uh, we do have an alternative, an alternative, so the international community would support them. That is the dilemma of the, the Syrian revolution. And as far as this continues, I think Assad will go ahead trying to, um, you know, reinstate himself as the president. Okay. Ahmed, thanks so much for joining us as always.